What's poppin' Truth Warriors? Ben here coming at you with another blistering hot take on everyone's favourite talentless Z-listers. The one and only Mega, and this time around it seems the disgraced Duchess never-ending quest for unearned fame and relevancy is smacked straight into a harsh reality check. Because according to reports, Princess Pinocchio has been instructed by her own crisis PR team to start toning down that sickening champagne bubble lifestyle if she wants even a ghost of a chance of rehabilitating her utter cringeworthy image. Now, I know you guys are excited to hear more, but before we move on, I want to thank you for your love and support. And if you haven't subscribed, what you're waiting for, hit the subscribe button now. Don't forget to press the bell icon. So, can you believe the audacity of this? It's basic human decency 101, entitlement, saturated sociopath. Apparently flaunting her and Harry's decadent jet-setting billionaire fantasy at every turn, while poverty LARPing, as uh, some brave anti-establishment truth for you, isn't playing well. Who would have seen that coming? It's just the latest damning indictment of what a hopeless out-of-touch phony the woman has become. This former starving actress clawed her way into royalty, only to completely fritter away any goodwill or public sympathies by embodying the most loathed stereotype. I mean, has there ever been a more transparent, cringe-inducing grifter than Megan with woke, common yearnings to breathe free? This broad turned the sacred institution of British monarchy into her own personal revenge porn publicity tour for fame and fortune. Delusions of grandeur doesn't even begin to cover it. And now she's out here having to be commanded her own PR crisis. Out of touch brat, she hopes to stop hemorrhaging the few remaining wisps of public goodwill, still keeping her dealist celebrity engine operational. That's legitimate what we're at right now. It's just such an incredible paradox to behold this woman who soldiered her way against all odds from humble American commoner to literal British royalty blessed with a rarefied platform to spark seismic cultural shifts for good, only to squander it indulging in materialistic impulses and coveted fame like Meghan had won the ultimate glass slipper jackpot most struggling artists could only dream about actualizing the kind of Cinderella fairy tale she grew up idolizing and she responded by promptly transforming it into an evil baroness Rod Miller kicking horse manure across the village square. The ego trip of a woman simply couldn't stay focused and humble enough to leverage her societal influence. She simply embodied every bougie excess she claimed to be morally against. The garishly expensive designer wardrobes, the carbon puking private jet soirees, the out of touch with reality privilege porn. This is the part that really gets to me. After fumbling what should have been an easy layup for any talented philanthropist, Megan is now having to pay top dollar to a crisis PR fixer to coach her on how to get back to human relatability. It's almost too painful. Like how disgustingly devoid of any sense of genuine humility and self-awareness do you have to be as a human to lose a grip on reality that far? With strangers need to swoop in and bluntly remind you, that maybe people don't enjoy watching your disrespect. Even Paris Hilton retained enough brain cells to realize she had to rebrand from her spoiled hotel heiress to savvy entrepreneur. So what do you guys think about the news? Let us know in the comments and we'll see you next time for more royal news and analysis. Goodbye for now.